everyone. We're continuing our walkthrough now of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm going to name this part Part 23D in parentheses Sand Mountain Part 4D of 4D because this is the last part. And, um, and like I said in, in the part 4 for all the letter parts, we're going to, um, Go down with Sandy to get all this stuff on the on the slides. And we used SpongeBob and Sandy to get some spatulas. So because of because of the fact that for part 4A, we just got all the spatulas um that we were missing. You know these two. Like see where my see where my thing is going side to side. Those are the two we got, um, in part 4A, and then in part 4B, to in parts 4B to 4D, we're sticking as Sandy, but for part 4B, we went down to get all the stuff, well, mostly the socks on Larry's slide, and then in part 4C, which was the last one, we went down, um, we went down with Sandy on Bubble Buddy's slide at least twice because of the eight sand men we needed to get. And, and since this one is part 4D, we're going to, um, we're going to start out as Sandy, but we're going to go to Guppy Mound to get the rest of the stuff on Mrs. Puff's slide right now. See, because in, when we stopped the video, we completed the Flounder Hill one, but now we're going to come up here to the Gupp, to Guppy Mound and then go into it. Because this is where the last sock is located, but I forget where on the track. So, hold on a second. You see why I'm kind of going back and forth on those? It's just because of the fact of the colors in the sky. You know, because those weird colors in the sky always bother me. Gosh dang it. Uh, okay. See, they always seem to want to put them here, but not on the guppy, not in guppy mound. So it's kind of weird. There we go. So now we're going to, um, oh, now we're going to do this. And now we're going to, um, touch this thunder tiki and now go down the slide. and then get the shiny objects that we were missing. Oh, I think I know where the last sock is located. Yeah, because we missed it with SpongeBob right here. See, now there's the last one of them. And now we can, we're gonna try. But you see, You see that in the end, we need to use Sandy in order to get the 50 up there. See, because this is the tricky 50. See that there's that purple up there? And you see why I'm nicknaming that one the tricky 50? It's just because of the long distance that we need to go in order to get it. And you see how, you see how the shell sometimes comes in the distance when jumping? from the Texas hook. That's what I was trying to do because that's the only best way to get it. At least that's what I think. There we go. And now we have like five minutes or so, so we are going to try to, whoa, what, uh-oh, okay. And you see that, that finishes up that. But you see why I'm moving back here? It's just because I want to clear out these, um, 
these teepees. You know what I mean? Because they're shiny objects for them. I mean, from them. There we go. Okay, so now you see I'm going to do that. And I believe we're going to get up to um, 10,000. I'm not sure. Oh, almost. So if we can, we're going to try and... Okay, so now we're going to... Um... Hmm, this will be kind of hard. You know what I mean? Because of the fact that... Um, I'm gonna try that we wanna try to get 28 shiny objects within the time we have on YouTube, which I think we're going to. But hold on. You see I just went out for a second. But but we're gonna go down it or actually just in the teleport box again after we get the 28 that we need to. To make our goal, basically. Oh, so I think I've realized what, um, what, what's going on. I think the, you notice that those white tiki's that I've been chopping, I think there are, there's a total of 14 shiny objects for them. So if I just do it one more time, basically. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Like that. There's our. Oh. That's weird. We got a green. Oh, maybe that's because we got an ultra combo. That's why. Okay, so now we're just gonna get all of these, basically. Since because of the fact that we got the green. Because I was thinking, wherever, um, wherever, if we reach the 10,000 mark for shiny objects, that's one way we're gonna stop. But basically, now since we're higher, now we're going to just, um, like I said, we're going to go in the teleport box because of the time and explode these and then after we get them, then that's when we're going to leave Guppy Mound. And then, um, now, since we have those, I'm going to just get these. And now, we're going to go back to Frosty Bungie. Yeah, there basically might have to be a Part 4D because... Or actually, this is Part 4D, so it's actually a Part 4E because of the spatulas. So now we're going to exit Sand Mountain. Or maybe there, there might not even have to be a part 40. I'm not exactly sure. So, um... Yeah, there might have to be a part 4E, but just just because we need to get two spatulas. So, um, so since we completed Sand Mountain, I'm gonna come right to where the second part of Bikini Bottom starts, basically at this toll booth, and stop the part here. So that in the next video, we can start up on the, on the two spatulas you guys can see there for Bikini Bottom. Because those are the two I was thinking in order to get to the amount we need to open that industrial park. Which is the which is the video after this this next one. You know what I mean? Two videos from this one. 